this video we are going to look into more advanced ways of developing the functions themselves so in my previous video we have already covered the basics of functions and the function expressions literal notation self invoking functions or immediately invocable functions and in this video we are going to look into a couple more advanced ways on developing the functions themselves and the first thing is that we can have the functions to be nested so which means I can have a particular function called a do process and I can call this particular function by just using do process right here so this is the statement which calls this function and this function internally has a couple more functions and the names of those functions are do local process 1 and do local process 2 respectively and in order to have those two functions to be executed I am actually using two more statements which are going to be the statements inside the do process so which means if I call this statement it is going through this and after executing other statements it will be skipping all the functions but once I execute this statement it is going here and then executes that and returns back and then after that it might execute this one which essentially goes back here and executes this one so in that way I can have the functions which can internally have other functions and those are nothing but the nested functions and the scope of the nested functions are local to their parent so which means these functions are not accessible outside do process so these functions are declared inside this do process and these can be executed only within the do process scope so which means these are local to do process and I can execute these two only within the do process but not outside the do process so as I mentioned if I try to execute this particular statement outside the do process scope which is this that is not going to work out and it might throw an error so if you have nested functions the scope of those nested functions will be within their parent and they need to be executed as part of their parent and the next thing is that the functions cannot return other functions so imagine I have a particular function called do process this is the do process and I am trying to execute that particular do process so whenever I am trying to call do process you can see essentially the control might go in here and of course I have parameters here you can provide the parameters if necessary after that it is going to execute whatever the statements which are available there it will be skipping this function executes this skipping the function executes all the rest of the statements but end of this particular function I am having a return which essentially returns do local process 1 so if you see what exactly is do local process 1 it is nothing but this particular function and again you can see I am not executing this function there are no parentheses so if I am not executing the function by using the parenthesis this actually returns the definition of this function so whenever you specify just the function name without any parenthesis you are essentially talking about the entire definition so whenever I return the definition of this two local process essentially that entire definition will be stored inside a variable called f so in this case f is nothing but a particular variable which will have the definition of do local process 1 so which means this entire definition of this function is going to be available in f and now f itself can be considered as a function expression which actually points to this and finally whenever I say f with the parenthesis I am asking f to be executing the definition available inside that particular variable f so the definition is nothing but do local process and the moment I say parenthesis it actually goes in here and executes it so in that way I can have a parent function which can return a child function to an external variable and still I can take that particular external variable external variable and execute it as if this particular function is outside the do process so even though you have those particular functions locally available 
inside the parent they can be returned back and executed outside so that is what is called as functions can return functions to and the next ones inner functions can be assigned to outer so which means here you can see first of all I am calling do process so this will essentially go in here and I have a do process which is nothing but a function it goes tries to execute whatever is available here it skips this function goes here executes any of the statements there and then I am trying to fetch do local process one that is the definition of this function as I don't have the parameters so it is going to fetch the definition of this function and assigns to this variable and you can see this variable essentially is nothing but the name of the parent function so which means now this particular parent function actually loses its definition but it will have the new definition of do local process one so you are replacing this entire definition but you are assigning this particular definition to do process now for the second time if I try to execute it it is actually going to execute this one as because you are you have already assigned the definition of this one to this one in the first statement itself so from then onwards any successive calls to the same function execution will be actually executing this particular do local process one and another thing is that I can have an array which can have various elements and those elements can themselves the functions so which means you can see I can have an array and in this case it is an empty array but the first element in the array is a function second element is a function third element is a function so in that way I can have array elements to be the functions too and I can also have various events to be attached to functions and those are nothing but you will be calling them as event handlers so in this case you can see I am having a button that particular button is actually is nothing but a reference to some element inside the document and once I get hold of that particular button element I am saying that on click please execute this function this is an anonymous function but you are attaching this function as an event handler for that particular button so which means this function handles the event on click of that particular button so we can also make use of functions in such a way as I mentioned those particular functions which are essentially assigned to those events are nothing but event handlers so I'm going to demonstrate on nested functions as part of this video right now so let me create a new HTML file so in this case I would like to call as something like 05 for now and let us start with some script and in this case I am actually starting with a function called do process and inside this do process all I am going to do is something like sum equals so let me take a couple of arguments here a comma b and then I would like to say a plus b dot to string so all I'm doing is this particular function okay so let me call this one as display sum for now so this is the function which takes two arguments a and b and finally gives me the sum of those two and now let us have another function which I call it as parent function so in this case I can have do process a comma b and inside this particular parent function I would like to have a nested function which is nothing but a child function similarly I would like to have one more nested function and in this case I would like to call this one as difference and now 
as A and B are made available here, I don't need them anymore here as because the inner function can access the variables available in the parent. So I am trying to access those particular outer or parent variables inside the local or nested functions. So, so similarly I don't need this either and just I would like to say is a difference. So for the difference I would like to mention a minus b for now. So that essentially creates a parent function do process which will have two nested functions inside those and the parent function is going to have these two values which can be reused in any of the local functions it has. And now in order to execute this display sum all I would need is just call that right inside the parent and in order to have this execute this right in here. So in that way I am trying to execute both of the functions. But in order to execute this particular function directly, I would like to have a button to be made available and I would like to say input type equal to pattern and I would like to say show and on click. I would like to execute two process with the values 10 and 20. So in that way, the moment I click on this show button, it is going to execute do process which is this guy by sending the values 10 and 20 to A and B and those two values are going to be preserved in the parent but whenever I call display sum, the nested function is going to kick in and it is going to use those stored variable inside the parent to be used inside the child. So I'm trying to execute that. And now I have the button. So the moment I click on the button I have sum and I also have the difference as minus 10. So let us consider I'm not using the button at the moment. So let me comment this and imagine I am directly calling do process right here which is perfectly valid as because I am saying that please execute this function immediately during the page load itself. So I can execute that and I am going to see the sum and the difference. But let us try to do something else. So imagine I don't want to use do process but I would like to call display sum directly outside. So let us see what it is going to do. And it essentially ran into an error which could not be seen here but if you press F12 you are going to see a particular error right here and you can see display sum is not defined. So that is the error we might get in.